Welcome to Move in Weather version 3 tutorial. When the software first loads, you will see a world map and the menu bars. This is the usual starting point for the program. Before we proceed with getting a forecast, let's explain the menus briefly. Along the top of your screen, the main buttons enable you to get your forecast, view a map of the entire world, go back to the last viewed screen, go to any location you may have preset under My Locations, pan around the map, Select a specific area or simply zoom in or out of the map. The easiest way to set up your locations is to select or zoom into your area. Click on My Locations. Then add current location, name and save it. You can save as many as you want this way. You can then use My Locations to go straight to that location in the future by going to My Locations and clicking on the blue arrow next to the one you want. The information box allows you to view the data at one or more specific points. Once you have downloaded your forecast, simply by clicking on the info button and then click on the specific point on the map. The info box will come up. Once you have clicked on the map, you hold your mouse button down. You can then drag the box to anywhere on the screen that you want, like this. Next are the settings options. If you click on that button, you will see a new menu with different tabs, which allow you to select your time zone, change the timing of your forecast, change the way in which your forecast is processed for animation, change the size of your map by hiding the layer menu on the far right of your screen, and enable moving weather to work, even if using a proxy server. Full details on each of these are contained in the user guide. Finally, on this toolbar, Move in Weather gives you the option to print your forecast. If you wish the forecast to be in text format, select Export to CSV file, as this will create a list of the weather data by parameter, time and coordinates, and so can be extensive. You will need to then sort and edit this data if you want to try to print it due to the volume. Our recommendation is to print it as a picture file by selecting Print Forecast in Graphics mode. You can then choose whether you want to print just the current time frame as is shown on your screen or at various different time intervals. If the latter, you can then choose what time intervals here, which will have a bearing on the number of pages to be printed. Once you click on OK, the software will then open your printer options and from there you can choose the number of pages to be printed per A4 sheet and whether in colour or black and white. Below this toolbar is your time bar and forecast controls. The time shown here is the time of your forecast as it runs through the animation. To play your downloaded forecast, click here. And if you want to run it over and over, just place a tick in the loop box. You can stop the forecast at any point, returning to the beginning or fast forward. And if you drag this arrow, you can play the forecast from whatever point in time you want.
To the right hand side of the screen you will see the layers menu which allows you to customise the weather elements that you see. To the left of each heading is a plus sign and if you click on these the list will expand to show the different formats available to you. Again if you click on the plus sign next to any of these it will expand to show shades, lines, values and grid values or arrows. To the right of each parameter you will see an eye sign. Click on this to see or hide that particular format. It is worth noting that adding too many parameters at once will make your forecast unreadable. We recommend that you show a maximum of two parameters at a time. We have preloaded some standard settings that we believe best show the data. However, Moving weather is completely customizable. If you click on the pencil icon to the right of each format, you will see a new menu come up, showing both a color and a transparency slider, or options on arrows or icons varying with the weather parameter. Moving these sliders or choosing different icons which then change the look of that particular format. We would, however, recommend you save the existing settings by clicking on Save Palette, Label and Save It, so you can then load it again, should you decide to stick with our recommendation. You can also change the content and layout of the info box by clicking on the pencil here. This will bring up the info box layout with all the options available to you. Simply select your choice and click on Add. To delete anything, select the item in question in the right hand side of the box and click on delete. Now that you understand the interface of moving weather, you are ready to download your forecast. Firstly select or zoom into the area you want the forecast for and click on get forecast. Select your forecast period from 3 hours to 7 days and the forecast area. The default is set to current map but you can opt for any of your preset locations or the selected area if you have selected more than one area. You then need to choose between one degree and half degree data. Half degree data gives a more detailed forecast but it does mean that the download size will be greater and is restricted to a maximum 48 hour forecast. You then need to select at least one of the weather parameters and how you want to send your request and receive the forecast. You can send and receive the request online to get your forecast immediately. You can generate and save the request which enables you to then email it from your computer at a later point. You can send the request by email which will automatically forward the request to your email software including Outlook to be sent on the next send and receive done by your email software. Finally, you can choose for your request to be sent by moving weather immediately, but for the forecast to be received as an attachment in your email. Then click on Get Data. If you have made an online request, moving weather will then retrieve your forecast and a request forecast status menu will appear showing you when the data has been downloaded and your system is no longer connected to the internet. When it has completed, it will say complete processing has finished. Click on done. Once you have downloaded your forecast and selected what you want to see, click on play to run the animation. You can also save it under Properties Save As if you want to close Moving Weather and run it again at a later point. For those of you who are interested in passage planning and keeping your downloads to a minimum, we would like to show you how to use our email only forecast facility and how to download forecasts for multiple selected areas. Firstly, 
If you log into Moving Weather without being connected to the internet, you will be given the option to log in via the offline login facility. Click on this and Moving Weather will open as usual. To select one or multiple areas, use the Select Box Area button to draw your first area box. Click on the pin to lock it and then draw your second box in the same way. You can do this as many times as you want by clicking on the pin each time and drawing a new box. Then click on Get Forecast. Choose the period as normal, change the area to selected areas, choose the weather parameters you want and then select send by email. Click on get data and then close moving weather and go to your email software. As before select the offline user login. Moving Weather will then open and provided you have the eye on the parameters of your forecast on, you can then play your forecast in the usual way. We sincerely hope you have enjoyed this demonstration and found it useful. Also remember that we have a fully comprehensive user guide which comes as part of the software download and we are available by email or telephone to answer any further inquiries you may have.